then you can say Advent has passed and Christmas has come. And so today we pray with the, the words of actually the opening prayer of the ordinary Mass for today, the Advent Mass. We ask God to hasten the salvation which only our sins delay. That will be in prayer for the first week of Advent on Thursdays. Would our sins impede, may the grace of your mercy hasten. Today we pray that for Mother Teresa and Marie, Advent has passed and Christmas has finally arrived. Let us in faith call upon God the Almighty Father who raised Christ his Son from the dead as we pray for the salvation of the living and the dead. The response is, Lord, to our prayer. For our Holy Father, Pope Francis, that, he, that as he continues to lead the church, he may be strengthened with the power of the Holy Spirit, we pray to the Lord. That in this year of consecrated life, we may grow in our understanding of the universal call to holiness. We pray to the Lord. Lord in gratitude for the gift that Mother Teresa Marie has been for our congregation for nearly 70 years, that her life may continue to inspire us by the example of her humble service, loving devotion, and faithful perseverance. We pray to the Lord. Lord for the family of Mother Teresa Marie as they mourn her loss, that they may be comforted in the hope of resurrection. We pray to the Lord. Lord for all the faithful departed, especially Mother Teresa Marie, Mother Mariama, and all our sisters, and the deceased members of the Bellata and Altieri families, may they rest in peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord. May the prayer of those who cry out to you benefit the souls of your servants, O Lord. Free them, we pray, from all their sins and make them shares in your redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you. 
the salvation of your servant, Mother Teresa Maria. We beseech your mercy that she who did not doubt your son to be a loving Savior may find in him a merciful judge who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In Him the hope of blessed resurrection has dawned, that those saddened by the certainty of dying might be consoled by the promise of immortality to come. Indeed, for your faithful Lord, life is changed, not ended. And when this earthly dwelling turns to dust, an eternal dwelling is made ready for them in heaven. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end. 